have a sticky finger. I am talking about the least sticky finger, not the that sticky finger. This is the sticky finger. It's really sticky. Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Do you have a least problem? Sticky fingers? Well, I learned this sticky finger at the show floor before I come to Canada. I don't know what is a sticky finger. Well, I remember when we was doing the show, we always have to challenge the sticky finger. But today, the sticky finger is not that sticky finger. It's actually talking about something stick on your finger. After today's video, you will learn a great tip that you won't have a sticky finger anymore. That's a start it. Okay, in my video number 246, I was sharing this wonderful craft tool that I found at the toy store. Yes, it is uh, for kids and it's a sticker maker. And I found out it's actually pretty useful for me. I don't think so the sticker is a very, very sticky, but it's good enough to make some sticker. So if and then the price, I, 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 um, there's some of you guys purchase some on Amazon, it's only $11 and then they have a, uh, 20 sheets refill, you can make up to 60 stickers. I think the price we pay is actually pretty good. But please do remember, I'm not trying to sell in this sticker maker. I'm just trying to share with you the tool that I found out I found is useful and I am using and using it and then maybe you will enjoy to use these tools too. So if you haven't got a chance to check that video, make sure you click check all the comments that my viewer has left. It's a lot of information. If you are looking for some um, sticky, uh, sticky, sticky, sticky specs, glue dots, and then they have a lot of information under the um, inside their comment. So where to buy, where you can find a good deal, what's a replacement. There's too many unbelievable. And thank you, you guys share all the information with everybody else. So I just love to read those comments. It's just so interesting. Okay. So today's video, I'm going to share a great tips with you. How can you um, avoid to become a, sticker fi a sticky finger, not that sticky finger. I learned this sticky finger at the uh, Scrapbooking Expo show. Dave always announced, everybody, we have a sticky finger, sticky finger. And in the beginning, I don't know what is a sticky finger. I thought somebody is selling the glue that is very sti sticky. And a lot of people get their finger stick. And then Dave is just trying to warn the people, if you have a sticky finger, don't touch other people's stuff because everybody, everything goes to stick. That's what I thought, what is a sticky finger for. And later on, I learned it's totally not what I was thinking. So today's video is actually about the sticky finger, how to avoid this is that happen to you. You know, those uh, micro, gla uh, micro dots is really, really good, but they actually really, um, if you touch it, they actually leave a lot of glue on your fingers. It really can ruin your artwork. And today's video is just something very simple and you can avoid it. For this uh, sticker maker, I actually really like it. I like the cute stuff and then um, a lot of you guys uh, uh, suggest that you can use a blayer and then you can use the silicone mat. So. It's kind of pretty much the same idea. Like this is just a piece of silicone mat and it kind of just a mountain on this uh, base. So it's easy that we don't have to use the other hand to hold it. And they come with this uh, uh, roller. It's kind of like an old blair. So it's just kind of cute. You know, when we're doing the crafting, we are having a good time. And then isn't this make you smile, right? Like this. Okay. so. If you don't want to purchase this machine, totally fine for me. I don't get commission from then, okay? So you have a piece of rubber mat. Um, this is silicone mat. It does the same thing when you use this silicone mat. They don't really stick. The, the glue is not going to stick on this mat. But just be careful. You got to keep your mat clean because on my mat, I have a lot of embossing powder or glitter on top. So sticky spec, there's a lot of a different kind of brand. They all, um, I think they are all the pretty much similar. I had the least pack for a while, but I don't really use it because I just found out they are so sticky and always make my hand um, um, full of the glue and I really don't like it. 
But when I was cre uh, creating this video, I actually found I was mentioning a little bit, but today we just go uh, go through a little bit more. So this is a how you can avoid. And also I found out the other great tool at a stationery store, and that is good for the crafting. Okay. So when you purchase this crayon uh, machine, they come with a 20 sheets refill. They are not really sticky, but they are good enough. So sometimes when you're working with uh, this kind of detailed die cut, you, if you have a glue with uh, those kind of fine tips so you can just uh, apply the glue and then they can they they work well right so it just take a little bit longer time but if you have uh, those kind of glue sheets you just put on top and then they will make any kind of die cut become a sticker so i kind of just like the idea make it fast and easy that's why i did the research and I found uh, these uh these uh, cool toys i won't call them craft tool it is a toy and the, the price is very reasonable so once when you run out those refill you can use uh, any kind of sticky spark uh, refill so this one comes with a sheet and the a5 size which is perfect you cutting this um half they will fit perfect like that okay so here is uh, something that first what we're going to do is here is the sheet, right? They have at least protection sheets here. Let me switch with my camera. Okay, so that's to show you the awesome tip, okay? So first of all, this is the A5 size, and then we are going to just trim it in half for four inches. And then it's a perfect to fit this platform. If you don't have a least uh, kit uh, sticker maker, you know what? Just use a piece of a silicone rubber. It does the same thing. The only problem is every time when I use, I actually like it, but I didn't use uh, too many times because every time I use this one, it, those glue is sticking on my fingers. It's really annoying because uh, I really become sticky finger. So how to avoid that? First, we are going to do this. It's very important. We are going to put a piece of uh, washi tape or piece of, let me grab a choppy here. Washi tape or uh, masking tape, and then I'm going to just write down up. And there's a reason for that because of these protection sheets, okay? After you use it, when you want to put it back, if you put the opposite, is it like a put a piece of paper on the glue? Is it going to stick there? We want to avoid that by put a piece of masking tape to mark so you can see. And then we are going to remove the protection sheets, right? So you're very careful. If you touch a little bit, um, just a glue area, you're going to pick up the glue for sure. So how are we going to avoid that? You're going to just grab a piece of uh, scrap paper. And then you just folding in the half. And then the first time you're going to try to use a tweezer, okay? Probably just a, a quarter inches. And then you are going to just use a staple, a staple, just a staple it. Okay, and then see, now, let me make sure I put this one up back. And then when I want to use it, look. I have a place I can hold. I am not a sticky finger anymore. Isn't that awesome? So you always, I always learn from the process. Uh, I was uh, preparing a video after I, I um, after I recording everything, I found out this is not working. In the beginning, I was uh, put this one here, these uh, holding sheets on the right side. And then when I put on top, I am not able to, you know, um, swipe this, uh, this uh, little roller here. So, and I said, what I'm gonna do? Very easy. Just move your holding space to the button and then that will work just fine. If you don't have this uh, um, sticker maker, you use a roller. As long as you use that piece of silicone mac, they will work just fine. But just one more thing, you got to make sure your um, silicone mat is clean because my silicone mat actually now is full of the embossing powder and the glitter. So if you put on top of your sticky stickers, it's going to stick. 
Okay, so make sure you um, read all the comments and for the video number 246 because uh, you guys leave a lot of information. Where can you find uh, these uh, sticky packs or they have a lot of uh, other name? What is the best deal? But uh, um, so and then now we want to put this one back. See, I put it up there, right? So and then now when I see I grab this part. I don't have to worry, it's sticking on my finger anymore. And then this one is so easy, I can just use it. And then I can just uh, rubbing most of my, most of uh, the surface, I won't have any problem. And then if you are using the original refill, this is uh, from the Crayola layer refill, the, the dot is not that, they have a less uh, glue dots than those uh, um, sticky pack. So you can like uh, kind of swipe two or three times to be able to pick up all the glue dots. But uh, if you are using the spack, um, sticky packs, they are very sticky. So they have more glue dots than the, the crayon sticker maker. So when I apply, I only apply one time. Because if you put too much and maybe they end up to pick up a lot of um, dots, it's going to be so sticky. So I hope you like this tip and then I'm um, using it. Remember, I am not trying to sell in your machine. If you like it, I'm happy that there's a tool that I share with you. If you find it's not necessary, you know, nobody forced you to buy it, right? Okay, so that's one thing. And here is another tool that I found at the superstore. It's kind of like a, or, uh, or super, supermarket. I'm sure you can find it at the craft store and it's very useful. What is that? Okay, let me show you. So that, grab this one away. That's this, uh, these uh, tape dispensers, okay? So I saw this one because uh, every time when I was uh, working on my car, I want to pick up some tape and I always have some problem. So this is actually pretty unique because uh, they are holding your tape, right? Okay, so this is your tape, but they can clip on the edge of your table. So let me show you what's look like. I took a picture. Okay, so that's uh, like this. So they kind of clip on the edge of your table. And the good thing is the top part, it can kind of twist. So forward you. So that way, when you want to, you know, do some masking, you need some tape, I think it's very useful. And also you can change the refill. So I, I pay, how much do I pay? I pay $5.99 Canadian dollars. So you check uh, next time when you go to your stationery store, like a staple, take a look. And then this is the tape I use all the time. It's a removable tape that use this one. See, you can just uh, use uh, this tape. I mean, the, these uh, tape dispensers. And then just mounting on your, the edge of your, working area. So I think that works perfect. Also, if you can't find that one, this is the one of the item I used to, I bought this one dollar store, it's 2 dollars Canadian dollars. It's very useful because sometimes when you want to, you know, just use a little bit of tape, you don't have to worry about the, you know, break it. So that's one thing is good. And then I have the other one. This is the one, um, it's a bigger one and I use it, most of the time I use the masking tape to do the masking. I mean, the like for my die cut guiding window and this masking tape is much cheaper than the purple tape. So basically I found out they are pretty much similar. So same thing, I just have this one and then when I need it, I just have to use one hand and they're actually pretty heavy. Only one thing about this one, if you are thinking about to purchase, I will put the link below, where did I get it? And then uh, one thing you have to remember is that when you purchase uh, the, the tape, you have to be the thin one. And the best place to find those kind of thin tape is the dollar store. Like this one have a little very pretty pink 
masking tape, but I cannot use it because uh, this is uh, too too thick. So this uh, tape dispenser is not designed for that thick tape. See how easy I can just uh, pick up as much a tape I need it. Okay, so that's the detail. It's from the scotch. It's called clip and twist, and I think it's very useful if you are looking for something, you know, for your crafting. And then I always uh, get this uh, scotch removal tape. So I kind of just uh, mix them. Okay, so today's video is uh, is short, but I, like I say, always like to share some awesome um, tips with you. And uh, I am not selling the tape or the dispenser or the sticker maker. I am just share with you the some awesome stuff that I am using and I found uh, I found it is very useful for the crafting and I hope you like it. If you like it, leave me a comment, uh, let me know and if you got a moment, always read the comment, especially the video number 246, 9,500 viewers in three days. A lot of information, you have, if you are looking for some nice glue sheets, I'm sure from um, the comment um, under, you can see, you can find a lot of uh, nice deal where to get the, uh, the best deal. So, and thank you so much here for all of you spending the time and leave me the comment. So let me know what do you think about uh, this, uh, this, uh, I don't want to be a sticky finger tip. If you like it, give me a thumb up and leave me a comment, let me know. And also about these tape dispensers, I think it's actually very useful. You can even put it under you know, the table, but what's the point? I think I will put it under. It looks like a little snail. Isn't that cute? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, talk too fast. Okay, and hoping you can join me and the Nancy Stamp this Saturday at the four o'clock and it's the time and we are using this humming alone stamp set to um to do a stamp with me with uh, six six of us. I think it's gonna be a fun one and this is my first live video. And the once when I hit the 5,000 subscriber, I am going to do a live video and I'm going to offer Twenty ten dollars gift certificate for the first twenty um, viewers. So make sure you subscribe to Cooking's YouTube channel. And as soon as uh, when I got a uh, five thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a live and then uh, a live video with you guys. And if you have any question, I hope you will mark it down and uh, ask for it, and I will give my best answer. So this is Lisa from Local King Robert Stan. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.